Hey, welcome to the Israel First television program with myself, Martin Black, and great to have you with us. Thank you so much for joining us today in our studios in Jerusalem. And in the Jerusalem Post, we've got a, a story here. It says, uh, Hillel's Tech Corner, Orcam, a fresh set of eyes. And I'm having difficulty reading this. So it looks like I'm going to need this device. It says, Orcam improves the lives of individuals who are blind, partially sighted, have reading difficulties or experience uh, reading fatigue by harnessing the power of artificial vision. And in the studio to talk about this amazing device, about the startup nation, about what, what's happening here in Israel, uh, we've got Rafi Fisher. Thank you so much for coming across My today. Appreciate that so much. Uh, Rafi Fisher is the Director of Media Communications at Orcam. He's originally from the United States, and uh, I believe you live in Jerusalem, but you might have moved I, since, I, since I, do, I got no, this information. I, I, I still remain in <laughs> Jerusalem, absolutely. He has for many years been in the public relations uh, industry and is currently, as I said, the Director of Media Communications at Orcam. We're gonna, that's the thing we're going to be talking about, this amazing device that's changing people's lives all around the world. He's been featured on CBS News, CBN, CTV18, Business News, I24 News, and Dr Jerusalem Post and Times of Israel, as well as media, news media around the world. So... Let's get straight into it. It's very exciting. You're not going to want to miss any of this program. And we're going to look straight uh, away at the device. It's called Orcam My Eye. The name Orcam, the word Or, O-R, means light in Hebrew. And Cam is short for camera. So that was the inspiration for the name Orcam. Put the two together. We have a camera that lights up, illuminates, if you will, different kinds of things. And it's number two we're going to start off with. Is that right? Right. The second generation of our device. Which you brought into the studio today with you. Absolutely. So the um, device I'm going to show you. Well, first, let me say a few words, a few quick words about Orcam. Okay. So um, Orcam Technologies actually was established here in Jerusalem in 2010, um, but we actually didn't come out with our first generation device until 2015, and then subsequently the current one I'm going to demonstrate today, a year later, uh, three years later in 2018. Um, what we do at Orcam is make the world's most advanced wearable artificial vision device that empowers people who are blind, who are visually impaired or have uh, different kinds of reading difficulties. So um, I will talk more so about... It's a miracle device, really, because yeah. what you're talking about is somebody who uh, who couldn't pick up a book or read the newspaper or do anything is now empowered to, to, to read. I'm right. Amazing. At read and many other things. Um, yeah, simply put, Orkim uh, comes into play when the person has a low-quality vision to the point where corrective lenses can't help him or her anymore. And so what we do with the device is communicate visual information by audio in real time. So it's really amazing technology, and it is very magical. I agree with you. So I'll show you some examples of how this device works. So uh, first of all, the device itself is quite tiny. You can see it's about the size of my index finger. Uh, very it's like a large uh, pen drive. Yeah, like, uh, it, it can know. be mistaken for like a Bluetooth device, you know, because you, you do wear it. And I'll show you how that works in a moment. Um, very lightweight. It weighs... Uh, 0.8 ounces, which is 22.5 grams. So when you're wearing it, you really don't feel like it's on you after you know a few moments. Uh, right here, there's a camera in front over here. On the uh, far side, there's a speaker for audio. This side here is a touch-sensitive area where I can either swipe or tap to control different operations, which I'll show you. Just like a phone when we yeah exactly on a yeah yeah and then, and then the same kind of uh, sense exactly. Instead of a screen, it's uh, this uh, bar over here. And um, Orcam My Eye is a wearable device, and so we developed Orcam My Eye. Uh, to be worn on almost any pair of glasses or sunglasses so uh, to enable hands-free use of it. So a uh, pair of glasses right here, um, regular pair of glasses. In fact, uh, you know, I'm wearing contact lenses myself, so these, these, these uh, lenses are just for show. They're right. really not a prescription lens. And on the side, on either side, I have these little uh, magnet mounts on the glasses. So I put the glasses on like I normally would. So you have to have the mount, you, ma you fit the mount onto your glasses. Right, so right. You... So this works with most pairs of glasses or eyeglasses and these mounts are strapped on and then you can, you know, and we provide a few of them, you know, when you purchase the device so you can put it on different pairs of glasses, you know, and, and use what you want. Um, so if you put them on like you know, regularly would and there's two magnets on the side of the device and I just snap it in place and I'm ready to start using the device. Wow. Um, normally, you know, the audio output comes from the tiny speaker here, which rests right above my ear. So normally, at a certain volume setting, I can hear the audio just fine, but nobody else around me can. So, um, so what we're saying is that the camera has, uh, sorry, the device sure. has a camera that looks at text. 
and then it plays the text back to you in your ear. Exactly. Right. Um, and, and we have these, you know, um, AI-driven algorithms that are hardwired into a chip inside here, and that's what uh, processes what the camera sees. I mean, it's a relatively standard 13 megapixel camera, but the secret sauce is uh, the, the, the algorithms we pioneered over many years that interpret text and, and other items too, other things too, which I'll be happy to show you uh, uh, shortly. Do I have to carry around exactly. um, a, a speaker? No, you don't. The answer it's is just for an emphatic no, no. You do not have to walk around with the speaker all day. Everything you need is right here in this tiny device. Okay, great. So the audio is going to be coming out of here, but normally it will come out of the, the device very softly. So the first feature I want to show you, which is our really our flagship uh, uh, feature, so to speak, is text reading. So OrkMII can read from pretty much any surface uh, and any digital or printed text, so from different kinds of uh, like a restaurant menu, a computer screen, or this brochure over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my finger, I'm going to point to where on this page I want OrkM to start reading, and then you'll hear what happens uh, in about a moment, about a second or so. Reads any printed or digital text. Newspapers, books, restaurants. So, word for word, signs, Orcam is reading. Labels, you know, um, I'm not sure if you can catch it over screens, here, but Orcam is reading. Accessible to you in an instant. So, I can put this down faces, and Orcam will continue to read. Or I can faces, stop it with a stop gesture. If I go graphs, like this, credit. the reading is stopped. So, when you just. So, when you stopped it, did you, you, the camera knows. Because it responds to gestures. Right. It responded to my pointing gesture to initiate the reading and responded to my stop gesture to stop reading. And the reason why we pioneer these gestures is because our, primarily our users are either blind or, or fully blind or visually impaired. And we wanted something that was very simple to operate. So what's more simple than just pointing or stopping, you know? Now, if someone, uh, some, uh, the, the, the people, our friends at home, and you're watching today and you're asking this, is what do the, somebody who is totally blind, how would they... I guess that they would have trouble seeing even... Uh, right, uh, absolutely. Point. Yeah, an excellent question. And we do have many users who are completely blind and very successfully use the device because another way to read text is by tapping. Right. Now, when I tap just one, si one time the side of the device, OrCam is going to read from the very first word to the very last word, not wanting me as the wearer of the device to miss any of the text. So I'll show you how that works. Or can my eye 2.0? There you We're go. Blind From the very top to the very people, bottom. An artificial vision device with a line away smart And again, I can, use the, I can either use the stop gesture or I can actually tap again to stop the reading. And by the way, when OrCam is reading a block of text, I can pause the reading, I can skip ahead, I can skip backwards. But once OrCam reaches that very last word of text, it forgets it. It doesn't retain the text here. And that was by design because we have, for instance, uh, lawyers who are visually impaired, and they use confidential documents every day to read from, and there's no issues in terms of client privacy because once that document is being read and, and it reaches the last uh, sentence of text, it's forgotten. So, so it, it's to protect the privacy of our users, really. Now, a lot of uh, you're watching today, and people are be already asking uh, Rafi how they can get hold of the product. It's not the exciting thing; is it's not under development, but Ab you can actually it's actually in stores now. A absolutely, absolutely is. Um, we are not only that, but we're available in 25 languages at this point in almost 50 countries. Wow. Um, so it's it, including um, very recently Japanese and Chinese, were by, which was, were by far the hardest languages for us to pioneer because with you know um, English, Spanish, French, and even Hebrew, these are alphabet-based languages. And of course, with Chinese and Japanese, there are characters involved. So it was another hurdle that we overcame, and we're starting to sell the device in those countries. So to learn more information and to arrange for a free demonstration, actually. Simply go to orcam.com, O-R-C-A-M.com. And I think the, the website has about 12 different versions of languages, so most of the major languages are on there. You click on the language you want, you can put in basic information, and you'll be contacted for a demonstration and to see if it's right for you. One of the things I saw that you do and all you had on the website was the uh, blind boy in the United States who was on a, on a TV show. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's ch completely changed his life. So. Maybe you can tell us a bit about how it's changing people's lives. Yeah, you know, it, it's, it really is. A, the the life-changing, you know, that's a great word to use. Um, let me show you a few more features, and okay. that will illustrate really the, the depth of what OrCam can do. Right. So, um, but one last thing about text reading. I have to put in, uh, you put in a plug for OrCam. Let me put a plug in for, for your program, for uh, Israel First. So I have your website on my smartphone here. So again, I'm just going to tap the smartphone. 
text is too small. Uh, you know what happened? I, I turned my head closer. right when I did that. So, okay. <laughs> See, it gives you audio feedback. It, it said text was too small. Let me just, actually, let me just go with that. If I turn this document upside down and I try reading from WordCamp. The text seems upside down to read it. <laughs> Rotate the page and so try again. So, WordCam, you heard the text is too small. Hold it closer. Page is upside down. We want to give audio cues to our user to enable the really the optimum uh, use of, of the device. Okay, so back to the website here. I'm going to keep it closer to me now because it said text was too small. Israel First TV program there focuses on news, interviews, and features from Israel together with teaching from a Hebraic perspective. The program is presented by Martin and Natalie Blackham from the Israel there First TV studio. Okay, wow. so wow. this is word for word from the, from the uh, smartphone screen. Okay, so that is, oh, one last thing. I just really want to show you one more thing about how, how, uh, how remarkable this text reading is. What I have here today is the American device. So, of course, it reads in English, but it also reads in Spanish and French. And those are all, all those three languages are all Latin characters, right? Latin alphabet. So, OrCam can actually distinguish between the languages and read in the appropriate accent without changing any kind of settings. So, I have a Spanish brochure here. So, let me try reading with OrCam with a Spanish brochure. Acostumbrarse a la deficiencia visual y vivir con ella tiene sus dificultades. Pero Orcam so, le ha devuelto la independencia. Epas. So what happened is Orcam saw the words, realized it wasn't English, it's Spanish, and read in the appropriate accent without me doing anything. So automatic language detection. Mm -hmm. There's one more gesture, which is the telling time gesture. If I go like this. The time is 12.29 p.m. But you don't need to watch, because if I go like this with my other wrist. The time is 12.29 So this motion, this gesture of going... Like this, as if I have a watch on, activates or can tell me the time which is in the device over here. Yeah, absolutely amazing. And one of the questions uh, that people are ask, will be asking, and, and I think you'll be asking this at home, is does it need the internet? Is it something? Oh, that works fantastic question. On the cloud. Or? So all the operation. I'm going to show you a few more features in a moment. But all the operation involved with Orcam My Eye is happening completely offline, um, and it took our engineers and R&D, a, a lot longer to pioneer the algorithms to have this device function offline. But it was so important that we had a device that our, our users could depend on in any situation. So you can use OrCam uh, you know, on an airplane, on the top of a mountain in the wilderness, really anywhere uh, OrCam will work. And Which is very important because there are areas of the world where internet coverage Absolutely, be absolutely. So we don't want that to be a deterrent you know, to, to usage. And the fact that it works offline has two very powerful advantages, the, the, the top two being uh, working in real time, OrCam works instantly because it's a closed system. Everything is happening right here. And the second one is there are no data privacy concerns because nothing's being sent to the cloud, like you said, to be processed and being back to the device. It's all happening here. So yeah, very very important. The only time actually when Wi-Fi comes into play is uh, several times a year we have periodic software updates. So to get that software update, you connect to Wi-Fi, download the software update, and then you're back offline using the device wherever you want. So yeah. excellent question, and, and that's. Uh, yeah really an important feature, uh, for, important aspect of the device. Uh, the next feature I want to show you is facial recognition. So right. with faces, we don't use a pointing gesture because it's quite rude, you know, to do this to people. So instead... <laughs> which is, which is yeah. uh, you know, one of the amazing things of technology. Some people, some people are a little bit afraid about it, but uh, the amazing thing of this technology is that is this facial recognition which is coming in, whether we like it or not, there's a, because right. of security and everything like right. that. But this is an, a, an amazing advantage because you can not only read text, but it... Uh, recognize people, recognize, recognize faces. faces. Right, wow. and totally offline, nothing to do with you know, uh, your, your face being you know, disseminated anywhere. So if I just tap one time on the device, let's hear what Orkin says. A man is in front of you. A man is in front of me. Actually, a prior software version said a person. It would say a person's in front of you. Now OrCam will say man, woman, or child is in front of you. Wow. So I just tapped once and heard a man's in front of me. Now let me keep my finger on the device and you'll hear the process to program you into OrCam. Face learning. Please keep holding the bar for up to 30 seconds. Okay, that should be enough. Please name the person in front of you after the beep. Martin. Martin. Touch to confirm adding person. Okay. Person so learned. So about a 15 second process, one time process to program you in. So now instead of hearing a man's in front of me, uh, I will hear, let's hear what Eurocom says. 
Martin. Martin. So yeah. if I'm visually impaired and I have your face programmed into OrCam and I'm walking down the street, as you approach me, I'll hear your name whispered in my ear and my voice as you're coming close to me. And OrCam can hold up to 100 faces, so family, friends, coworkers can be stored in, in the device. Which is life-changing because if, you, if you're visually impaired and, uh, or you're blind and you, you can't see family me members or friends or if you're going shopping, you can't see people and it's just Absolutely. amazing. And you the can, time oh. is 12.15 p.m. <laughs> That's a preview of what's to come. Um, <laughs> so, you know, somebody who is programmed into the device who you know is coming towards you or if I walk into a room or Kim would say, you know, Martin, a man or woman are in the room, you know, and give me that information, you know, that, that, that cues me in on what, what's, you know, who's facing me. So it's, it's a very right. powerful device. Right. Um, you can also program consumer products into, uh, in a similar way into the device. Instead of uh, programming a face in, if you hold uh, the panel of, a, of the product three different ways uh, and angles, you can program the panel in. Because, of course, I can use OrCam to read the ingredients of the Tabasco sauce, but oftentimes, such as the case of this uh, product, the, the logo is, is, is not a standard font, you know, it's artistic, right? It's a stylized logo. Um, but we have a new feature, which is barcode reading. So I can actually identify this product and a million other products in the U.S. by their barcode, which are a database is pre-programmed into this, preloaded into the device. So if I just look at the barcode over here. Tabasco chili sauce, habanero, 60 milliliters. So what happened is I didn't point, I didn't tap, or can grab the barcode, made a match to the database in here, and relayed to me the product information. So you, 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 know, you would have to hit upon the barcode, you know, so it might, might take a few tries, but once you do, you don't have to tap or point, and it's, you know, it tells you the information. And in different countries, we have the barcodes corresponding to, to that country's consumer product. Which is life-changing for people because, you know, what, one of the things that ha happens is, you know, when people get elderly and, you know, as our site, Sometimes deteriorates. So Oftentimes would, happens older. Yeah, would it be yeah. suitable for elderly people? A absolutely. Look, look, we have our youngest user is six years old, and our oldest user is 100 years old in, in New York wow. City. And so that just shows you the real the, the real spectrum of people. I mean, the, our whole kind of inspiration is you know very sophisticated AI driven technology, but very easy to use. We know we designed this device. You know, either by tapping or pointing, that's how you activate it. You know, I mean, what could be more simple than those intuitive, you know, gestures? You know, if you can't point, you can tap, you know. And we actually have a third way to read text, which I didn't enable because this is for demonstration, but a third way to read text is just by holding it in front of you. Because OrCam, if you have it set for enabled for automatic page detection, OrCam will recognize the edges of this document, which will trigger OrCam to take a photo, and indeed there is text here, and Orkin will start reading automatically even, so you don't have to point or, or tap, it's just hold it, you know. Wow. Doesn't get much wow. more, uh, you know, simple that's, than that's, that, right? That's yeah. amazing. If you've just joined us today, we've got Rafi Fisher in the studio, and we're looking at this amazing Orcam uh, My Eye, which is uh, changing the life of so many people around the world, uh, for blind people, for people who are partially uh, cited. So maybe, maybe you can tell us a bit, you know, this is such an exciting product. Maybe you can tell us a little bit how you got involved and, uh, you know, because uh, Mobilize also. Uh, yeah. Mo and how could, how, so how, because you're originally from the United States. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. And you're now over in Israel. And Israel is changing the life of so many people around the world with, um, uh, there's this book, we've talked about it before in the program, but it's a, an amazing book. It'll give you an idea of uh, some of the exciting things that are happening in Israel, the startup nation. Maybe you can tell us a bit about how you got involved with um, with all. Sure, a absolutely. So, um, like you mentioned, I'm originally American. Um, I grew up in Connecticut, and I was living in different cities in the East Coast. I actually made Aliyah from Washington, D.C. Uh, almost 12 years ago. And um, I started uh, my career in PR in Washington. I worked for a global PR company called Ogilvy Public Relations. And then when I moved to Israel, I actually uh, worked for two different Israeli uh, PR firms, one uh, independent agency and then a global agency, um, both in Jerusalem, actually, uh, practicing primarily English language uh, uh, PR. And then I got to the point where um, I didn't want to work in an agency setting where you have you know, multiple clients and you're really juggling a, a lot of things. I wanted to work in-house, which for, to work in-house, you have to have a certain degree of experience, which I more or less have at this point. Um, and, uh, but even then, I had to convince OrCam of the, the value of PR because unlike marketing, unlike advertising, there are no guarantees in PR, right. but when done right, it's very effective and very cost effective too. So I joined OrCam about three and a half years ago and very, very happy with my decision. It's a great company to work for and really, you know, every time I get so excited presenting this device to you, 
and what WorkCamp is all about because it's amazing technology with a purpose. You know, you alluded to Startup Nation Israel. There are so many great technologies coming out of Israel, you know, in agriculture, in, in, in you know, medical, you know, in, you know, just so many things that, that aren't games, aren't things that just, you know, you can play with and put away. They're truly life enhancers, you know, whether in changing lives of so many people on, on, on different, the different... Uh... Do, you, do you think there's a... Now, coming to this founding of companies, you know, uh, which isn't really happening so much around the world, you know, because most countries have established com co companies, General Motors or, uh, you know, I mean, there's a few like this, there's a new wave, Amazon and companies like that. But do you think there's a reason that Israel... <laughs> Has so many startup has so many startup yeah. companies. <laughs> well, this you book can tell you all about that too. Right. But but my, my my take on it is that you know there, there's such an first of all so there's such an entrepreneurial spirit you know in in, in Israel and you take that coupled with this um, kind of uh, cultural uh, ethos of like there's a problem. There's an issue here. How can we solve it with technology? You know, people are getting hurt and, and, and even worse on the roads. How can we solve that with technology? People have problems with their vision. How can we do that? Rather than, you know, replace their vision, the next best thing is to communicate the visual, you know, world by audio. Um, and, 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 you know, because of the army, because of, you know, the, 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 the non-fear of failure, you know, like, you know, in certain companies, you know, like you, you can't f you fail because you have to, you know, you, you have to save face, you know. Right. Here, it's like failure is almost like, um, you know, you know, encouraged in the sense where that doesn't work, try something else until you get hit upon the right thing. And so right. it's just a, it, it's, it's a cultural thing here, I believe. And, uh, uh, you know, and to also a, a large degree, we don't have a ton of natural resources here in Israel. And so we use our minds to, you know, to, 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 to create, you know, and, and, and to create, you know, technologies for, for, for good. Now, people have been watching the program and they, uh, you've said, well, you've told us uh, about the product, but we didn't have time to write it down. I, I, you know, I realize that. But they, but they, I think you can even get uh, the uh, my eye on uh, Amazon. Is that right? Absolutely. You can, you can get it through our website directly, right. orcam.com or through Amazon.com, or depending which country you work, uh, live in, it could be through an, artificial, an assistive technology distributor who we work with, or we have different partners in different countries. And if you go to the website, you can put your information in and get a f arranged for a demonstration, you know, now, to see how it works for you. Uh, the product is, uh, uh, how can I say it, a little bit expensive, but so is there are there ways that you're getting it to people? Yeah, it's, it's, it's very country specific in terms of how we can make the device more financially accessible. Um, so in the Scandinavian countries, you know, Denmark, Sweden, Finland, and Norway, and also in Germany, the device uh, in most cases is fully funded to qualified citizens. What I mean by qualified citizens, people who are recognized as legally blind or severely visually impaired um, because they have very robust healthcare systems in those countries. Um, in the US, it's a bit trickier because, you know, the private insurers, you know, don't really want to cover many things. Um, and Medicare doesn't cover most hearing aids, you know. Um, so ha having said that, though, many states in the U.S., including the, the larger ones, such as New York, Florida, uh, California, and Texas, uh, if you need OrCam My Eye for educational or employment opportunities, you can apply to get that funding. Uh, and also, this device is fully funded by the U.S. Veterans Administration. So we have hundreds of vets in the U.S. that get the, of all ages, by the way, not just right after active service, they get the device fully funded. In other countries, it's it's a lot tougher. You know, we're, we're, we work, we try to work with different government agencies or different blind organizations to try to provide you know funding opportunities for OrCam. But but it, but it is available. The product absolutely uh, in 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 almost fifty countries can, at this point. If yeah. you can raise the finance and uh, you can have people help you to 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 do that. Now I understand, uh, Rafi, that you had a royal visitor. Oh not yeah, so long ago. it was, I mean, it, was uh, it was amazing. Recently, who I actually ago. met. I actually met. Uh, it was. Um, you're alluding to Prince William, who last year came to Israel on the first ever visit of a royal to Israel in our country's 71-year history. Right. And Orkin was honored to be one of only four companies, all assistive technology companies, to present the device to Prince William. And he called it incredible technology, and this is brilliant. It could help so many people. And, and it was just a fantastic reaction once he actually used the device. That's the thing. I can describe this device all I want, but until I show you how it works, you know, it, wow. you know, it, 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 and 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 that brings me really to to the main, you know, highlight of the device. I mean, it's amazing technology, but really, more importantly, it's technology with a purpose. It empowers people. I'll give you a few very quick anecdotes. You know, I spoke to uh, uh, a a uh, a user in London who's completely blind. He went to a restaurant with his sighted friend and used the device to read the restaurant menu, decide what he wanted to order. Didn't have to ask his friend or the waiter for help. And and for you and me, it's a very, you know. 
uh, we take it for granted. We don't think about that. But his friend at one point said to him, I forgot you were blind even. You know, like wow. it's just he did it very seamlessly. Or something as emotional as a young mother in Toronto, Canada, who has uh, three children, young children, and uses OrkMII to read bedtime stories to her kids, and it brings tears to her eyes to be able to connect with her kids in a way she couldn't before. Wow, wow, uh, absolutely amazing. Now, uh, this, this technology is, is, is fantastic, but do you think that, can it go further? Is the, it, it can, uh, it can and it will. So to paraphrase um, our CEO, Mr. Ziv Aviram, you know, we're just reaching the tip of the iceberg. The technology is endless. I mean, if you think about when Orkin takes a photo, there's so much information it could potentially relate to the person using the device, it would overload the person, you know, really. So uh, I'll give you a few th things that, we're, that are in store for Orkham in the future. And by the way, these things I'm talking about, you don't have to get a new device for it. They'll be, with that software update I mentioned earlier, through Wi-Fi, you would be able to download it on the existing device. There's nothing new involved here. So you, I don't want to discourage anybody from getting the device right now because you'll benefit free with it. You know, there's no subscription involved here. You'll get the upper, the software upgrades uh, in the future as they come out. So up until now, Orkin My Eye is a communications tool meant to be used in conjunction with a seeing eye dog or a cane. But now we're developing um, uh, for mobility in the sense that Orkin will soon be able to identify uh, staircases and doorways and windows. Yeah, I was going to ask about that. Uh, just as you brought it up, I mean, if, if the, a lot of uh, partially sighted or blind people have dogs, guide dogs for the yep. blind, can, the, can this recognize a dog? Uh, not yet, but we're working. That's actually wow. another thing we're working toward: recognizing dog or, or different pets. You know, not necessarily the specific dog. You know, but that it is a dog. You know, because right. humans are a little more easy to, to discern than because everybody's face. And dogs, although they're different, also of course they're they right. can be quite similar. You know, um, but another thing we're working on, which is extremely exciting to me, is intelligent reading. Uh, which involves what's called NLU and NLP, natural language understanding and natural language processing. So we're going to get to the point where OrCam will be able to see a restaurant menu, for example, uh, read the text to itself, and then through my voice, we'll be able to ask OrCam questions based on the text in front of it, such as, is there a vegetarian option on this menu? Is there a kid's option on this menu? And OrCam will answer me based on its AI understanding of this text, wow. which wow. is we're really at, exciting. We're out of time. Thank you so much, Rafi, for coming in today. Fantastic. Uh, Rafi Fisher is the Director of Media Communications at Orcam. Uh, if you'd like to email us, don't forget you can email us at info at israelfirst.org. Visit the website www.israelfirst.org. And remember, we're the program that looks at the land, the people, and the language. Mm -hmm.